see what we got now. This feels a little bigger of a shoe. This is what I was hoping for. I was hoping that they were to pull strings. They've been posting like maybe this is coming soon. Oh, I don't. I might get caught. I'm. Uh, I don't know. I have said I've had ill words against this shoe right here for some whatever reason. I just haven't liked the photos of them, especially the first photos of these. And then we get the real photos, and a lot of people's opinions change. And then Jerry Lorenzo wore them. In my opinion has maybe changed. We'll see if I'm gonna eat my words. I almost tweeted out saying like, if you see me wearing those, I'm a high beat or something like that. The first photos of these were really bad. I'm gonna put them up on the screen. And now I'm gonna see what our opinions are in person. Oh. So the Union Jordan 4. This is a shoe that has had a lot of mixed controversy because of the first photos that came out. You guys know the Union Jordan 1? The Union Jordan 1s are a great shoe. The Union Jordan 1, went crazy. You have the blue pair, you have the black pair. The blue pair went for more at first. I bought a pair at 700 bucks. I bought, I've had so many pairs of the black. I've had, I've sold three of them for 750 bucks, 800 bucks on my website months ago. They're going for 2,400 now in my size. Insane. So this shoe when it came out had a lot of hype around it. And uh, I can't believe they have these. This one right here is only releasing in Los Angeles, I believe, at one of the stores. And to me, the reason why I didn't like it, it looks like a toy. Like the red, the blue, the yellow, looks like to like a toy to me, something like that, childish type. But if you look at it, the inverse, you can kind of also see this might be like a vintage midsole outsole. So I, I don't know, I love the tan. And you know the four's been coming out. Now, they said I could buy any pair. I might buy these because I don't think this shoe is the same with the tongue down. I don't like how that looks. It's, I'm not a fan of it. So, okay, these are size 10. I might be able to make these work. I'm gonna try these on because if these will work, I'm gonna unstitch them. And I don't think anybody's, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube have a pair, let alone unstitch them. So the Union Guava Ice is what they're called. The lowest at, two grand is basically the lowest ask right now. So I don't know if they're actually gonna go for that, but I need to, I'm gonna move chairs so we can sit down. So I'm gonna see if these fit the fours. I typically like them to be a little bigger, but we'll see. Like this shoe I'm wearing right now is an 11 and a half. Okay, actually they kind of feel just like my Travis fours that are a 10 and a half. So maybe that's a little good there. Jerry Lorenzo and the way that he wore them changed my opinions because he had like, his pants tucked up and he wasn't wearing socks, which I think that's what it was. The tongue on these is what's different. I don't even know how this works, if I'm being honest. Oh, so essentially on the tongue here, you can see the union. I think you unstitch it here and it flops up that way because the, I don't like, yeah, yeah, that's how it's gonna work. But I need to look at these a second, see if I wanna do this. I mean, it's gonna make the value go down and maybe not because I feel like most people are gonna do that, but let's see, let's see. Well. Let's go, maybe we'll, let's go find an exacto knife. So we are here at the cutting table now and me and Nick were kind of discussing how this works because if you can see on the inside right there, there's stitching that looks kind of loose, but it, I think that's attached to the outer because when you unstitch this, this will flop up. Ske I don't, this is not sketchy, but this is kind of, this hurts to do this to a shoe, but it's, I feel like it's meant to. So I'm gonna try not to mess anything up and see what we can do. So basically I'm gonna take this exacto knife, still, there it is, there's the, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, keep cutting. I'm gonna make sure to be very careful. I'm assuming if I do it from the, like the backside, I'll be able to pull it out. And there it goes. Ooh, I can't believe a shoe was made to do this. All right, there we go. Okay, now that changes the look. Look how that changes the look. I just think it looks like a totally different shoe now. The way that they laced it is nice. It's a looser lace. It looks kind of thicker. I don't know, man. And here's all the shrapnel left. We got two more pairs left, but I'm gonna put these on feet soon, take a picture and see. And maybe from the pairs we've had so far, this will probably be the best giveaway. So let's wait and see. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Shout out again to Sneaker Knockers. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.